Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're reviewing WRC9 from uh, Nikon Games and uh, KT Racing. And uh, if you know anything about them, you know that they do some really excellent racing sims. And in my opinion, uh, WRC9 is no different. I, I really had a good time with this one. The career mode is excellent. It looks really nice. It looks good on the Xbox One X right now. Can't wait to see how this looks and runs on the uh, Series X here soon. Because uh, it, it looks so good right now and it feels like really realistic. There's just a ton of different game modes. You can do uh, clubs online where you can create your own things and your friends can race. There's online uh, races where you compete for times and you can see them on the leaderboard. There's quick play where you can play uh, split screen with your friends. There's uh, test runs where you can just uh, see how different vehicles work. There's a ton of different uh, stages. There's over a hundred stages in the career mode. And if you can see here, it just looks beautiful. It really never feels repetitive because the career mode is just so in-depth there you hire your crew they can get fatigue the morale can drop so they can they'll leave you can upgrade your character to improve these skills so they don't drop as bad or to improve how your vehicles worked on there's tons of different upgrades and uh, it's just really really in-depth I would like to see in a career mode sort of like uh, NBA or NFL where you have like cut scenes where you talk to your crew and you talk to like team owners and stuff so that you could have got a real good look and learn more about uh, the real WRC to uh, learn about its history and things like that there's like us but also like I said there's historic races where you use old cars here I am hiring my crew uh, there's diff each one's different like uh, they cost more they uh, they have they're more skillful so as you go as you upgrade your character these people will also improve it, your team will get better and then uh, you can see here there's just so much to do inside your uh, garage like uh, you can work on your car you can do these upgrades and they actually do improve the experience uh, that's a fun aspect of it all I think the career is just uh, a good time like I said I would have loved to have seen like a more in-depth story mode added to it because it can feel like you're doing some of the same stuff over and over after a while but at first you're gonna play for hours and hours before it feels repetitive at all there's so many tracks and so many different events that it's it's going to keep you busy for some time uh, it, it, it's challenging it's not an easy game to play that might turn off some casual racing fans it's a simulation so it is difficult it's better to take a steady uh, pace like not over braking not over accelerating trying to stay the same speed because it helps you keep better control of the car it's cool how you see your name like when you win you see your name on the car stuff like that that's really cool as well but like I said it might turn off some of the casual racing fans because it is difficult like you see here I'm getting money and XP and things for winning this race and you'll use this stuff to get better but uh, it's like it's definitely challenging like I was saying I had gotten off topic because I wanted to talk about that here's a retro car you see you can drive like some uh, old classic vehicles you can also do classic maps and locations but like uh, let's get back to uh, it can be difficult so it's better to take your time and learn how to control the car once you get a uh, handle on the vehicle it's a lot easier and you don't race against people you race against times it's against people but it's against their times so you might some race fans might not like that not rubbing paint and having the side-by-side -side, uh, standoffs but if you like a simulation races and things that you'll really get into this you'll see here you have extreme condition races where you're run driving at night in rain on real slick cores you can tell here I'm all over the place 
it's a lot tougher than running the standard race. Here's a bunch of the old cars that you can get. There's just a lot of different vehicles and they all look and feel and sound different. Uh, I really didn't have any cons about this game. I enjoyed my experience with it. I had a blast. The only thing that kind of annoying is the guy that talks to you, like, like the GPS or crew leader. He tells you what uh, turns are coming up. That can be annoying at times, but it's really important information that you need. It does help. There is pop-ups on the screen like you see at the top that tells you what's coming. But sometimes you may not be paying attention up there. You might be watching the road or trying to catch the environment. So the, him saying it out loud does help. I'm going to go ahead and say it before the video ends. I gave it a 8.5. I really had a good time with it. I think the career mode is the meat and potatoes. You're going to spend hours and hours playing that mode. And you're really going to enjoy it. Um, it it's just a really fun in-depth take on this sport. And uh, I can't wait to see how this looks next gen on, on the consoles. Because this will be carrying over, of course, to the next gen. So, uh... Look, but look at this beautiful scenery. I, I know I do my reviews different than people. I actually do them live. I do them all in one take, so it, I actually am watching the video while saying what I think of the game. It just feels more real like that to me. And I'm saying that as I'm watching the video. It's frozen, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to get say 8.5. Definitely worth your time. Definitely worth your money if you love racing sims. Nacon and uh, KT Racing's delivered some great racing sims, and this is another one. Nacon period have just released some great sims, like the Hunting Simulator 2 I was addicted to, Overpass, the Monster Truck, just a lot of fun. Just keep an eye on these guys. They keep just dropping excellent racing simulators. Until next guy time, though, guys, thanks for the support and thanks for watching. 8.5 out of 10. A top, a top tier uh, racing sim.